Hello, what's up guys, the boss here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today we're gonna check out for the first time the newest hero inside of Survival Arena and the name of this hero is Tane and this guy is not just good but he's one of the best heroes definitely inside of Survival Arena so if you want to have an advantage inside of the game you definitely need to ha uh, get your hands on this guy because he has massive amount of health, massive amount of damage per second and is very good um, special ability which makes him pretty valuable inside of PvE so I think in PvE we can agree that he has uh, for looping strategies the biggest value because his ability allows to uh, freeze base or not to freeze but to stun the troops on one certain spot so it works it has kind of the similar effect as the snowball and therefore it's quite helpful and can help you to stack up groups that's why I'm bringing with me here today the lightning tower into the match and the air harpoon um, the crossbow is actually not that important I could leave that one out um, and afterwards we're also gonna take with us the snowball and the napalm bomb in combination with the furry skull and this is gonna help us hopefully to reach here the first place inside of crab festival where the first place is currently having 28 kills so without further ado further do uh, let's hop into the battle and search for a good round so we're just gonna skip through the rounds and see um, for the boss waves and this looks like that uh, the boss wave is coming in after 32 waves which is perfect for us so we want to have the boss wave coming in as the, at the latest point as possible because this means we're gonna we're not forced to deal with this guy and uh, yeah can basically skip through the waves a little bit faster because you know as well as I do that uh, boss waves it at higher levels will take a lot of time and the only problem we're having right now are the air waves so air waves are pretty strong but uh, the sky harpoon is actually quite an effective counter against it because it's so cheap and it does a massive amount of damage as well to them so in the early rounds we can easily deal with them but I hope that the distance uh, of air or that not that many air waves are coming in because they're gonna be the only ones which are gonna deal damage to our Skysha generator. Alright, so um, we're gonna prepare ourselves for the air wave, just place here a couple of um, air harpoons and close those entrances right here. And you can see the air harpoons have no issue taking them out, even on level 1 this air wave was basically nothing. So I'm already prepared here for the for the next air wave and you can see I'm using also the sky harpoon just to build here basically the switches for uh, for the loop creation so if we're sell if we're selling them then we're getting we're not making that many that much or that big of a negative trade basically and therefore it's one of the best towers to do so as well if you of course have air waves coming in all right, so let's continue building up here our maze. We're simply gonna use everywhere our lightning towers. They appear to be the most effective ones right here because even though, uh, or even if uh, fast troops are coming in, they're still gonna be able to hit. And of course, sometimes fast troops are coming in here as well inside of the crab festival. So we're also prepared for that. And the mortars, of course, sometimes they miss those shots. So they're having uh, problems to hit the fast targets. So that's why I think here the crystal, uh, the lightning tower is one of the best options to go for. All right, so let's extend here our maze. And you can see, since we don't need to invest that much into air defenses, we actually can uh, build up very quickly also our ground defense. And yeah, so. Let me introduce you a little bit more to Tane because you can see this guy is also doing splash damage which is quite amazing. Uh, later on in the rounds of course that's becoming a little bit more ineffective. This guy is not that strong at the moment. Um, but for the early rounds he can help you just to have some uh, chill rounds in the beginning to build up your mace and uh, helps basically so that you don't need to concern with the incoming waves that much. But yeah, the ability, I'm gonna show that one later one uh, later as well, Like, the, or I can actually show it right now. So you can see there is a rock coming out of the ground which is stunning all the troops in that effect area. And this is basically pretty important or a pretty nice, um, nice skill basically. Because as I mentioned before, it's like a snowball as well, it has the same effect. And therefore, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. And I just see that the next air wave is coming in after round 17. So this means we're gonna make it easily to... Um, no, is coming in at, in uh, 17 waves. And this means that we're gonna face them in wave 27. And if we don't take any more damage, then uh, we should be able to exceed the score of the first 
place at the moment. So this is pretty awesome and we can focus completely right now on building here our our lightning towers for ground defense. So yeah, I think that's a pretty perfect ground. Hopefully we're not gonna take any damage. I recorded one episode before that, that's why I went here, got here on uh, on wave 20. But I made there some kind of stupid mistakes while trying to loop the troops, like bring them into a loop, and therefore I died there already. So uh, this time I'm probably or hopefully gonna perform a little bit better, which would be of course perfect for this video. And yeah, so far everything looks nice. And one other nice thing is that we can sell at some point here the air harpoons because we ain't gonna be able to deal with that air wave uh, which is coming up in wave 27 because they're simply too strong. We would need a lot more air harpoons but if we're gonna do that then this would mean that uh, we don't have any air def uh, ground defenses left and of course there are more uh, ground troops coming in than air troops and yeah so let's use here a little bit the furry skull so that we can take out this mini boss wave quite fast use the, use the napalm bomb and it looks like we're not gonna be able to take them out so we're gonna open up here this path up here and let them turn around and at some point we're gonna open up this path down here and this means they will again turn around and yeah this goes a little bit quicker than letting them run all around the maze again uh, all around the map and this trick actually was shown to me from a uh, yeah was shown to me by a clan member who's called Jürgen and uh, therefore since he showed me that easy trick basically I want to give him a little shout out here Jürgen, uh, Jürgen uh, on behalf of all my viewers thank you very much for showing that to us because this is pretty helpful in order to limit the time and you can see as well the lightning towers are doing extreme damage or massive damage here to the incoming troops and we are about to enter wave 15 in a second as well after five minutes so we're very good in time everything is running super well and i hope we're gonna exceed here a sort of high score so wave 32 would be perfect i think in league 5 they would guarantee basically um oops would ba uh, basically guarantee that we're gonna get on the uh, first uh, second place at least and it looks like that we are gonna be forced to open up this path up here again. Hopefully they're gonna die. Yes, they are. And now we can close it again. And this was a perfect round again. So let's upgrade here the towers. I'm talking again too much. We could have so much more firing power on the field. And these are basically these fast units which are basically hard to hit with the mortar. So... Um, yeah, we're gonna try to build a loop right here use here our snowball and we'll use the ability as well here in a second so let's use the ability i missed one unit this is stupid all right let's open up here the path down here as well and now we're just simply going to use the furry skull in order to make sure that we're not going to take any damage um and yeah so far so good let's close this part right here in a second they're gonna accelerate but i think that's not gonna matter too much all right it does actually we need to build uh we need to open up the loop again which is kind of unfortunate but uh, we are having anyways enough gears so this is no issue at all so hero spawned again we're gonna move this guy back into the center upgrade here our towers again and now i think uh we need to be a little bit more careful with our furry skulls so um, we just focus a little bit more on using the hero's ability right now you can see all of them are getting stunned in that field and that helps us to uh, do some splash damage to all the grouped up groups so um, yeah it, it's working pretty nice here with the hero once again and this is giving us some additional seconds so that we don't need to invest that many gears into looping in general we're gonna use the napalm bomb again and a little bit of the furry skull Although that's not necessary, we are going to send the troops back. And this was it for wave 18. So, like I said before, everything is running super well right now. And tier 5 units are coming in. We need to be a little bit more careful with those guys. And I need to use my hero a lot better. So I need to focus on that a little bit more. We are going to use the furry skull as well. I just said that we need to uh, use it a little bit more carefully. But I think, in general... Um, it doesn't harm just to bring some a little bit additional damage onto the map 
which we also need to do right now because those troops down at the bottom will turn around and now let's use our full capacity of the furry skull to make sure that we're not taking any damage all right so now this is going to be tricky we're gonna turn those ones around freeze them right here and we're gonna take some massive damage i guess what am i doing i'm wasting gears here at the moment all right let's 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 focus again so i need to close that part down here and why are the troops coming from that side again so these uh, little uh, units are pretty pesky they're quite annoying jeez they're still spawning as you can see but fortunately not that many as uh, as before so i think this time we're gonna be able to build a proper maze if we time everything right so let's place the snowball let's sell this part let's use here the hero's ability let's sell this part oh my god these units are getting pretty annoying so let's block this path right here and we're not gonna have enough to stop them oh this is not turning out in a way i like it let's uh, and now the proper units are coming in again so uh we're gonna have here again some of the slow units so these are pretty easy to handle hopefully and we're already at round 20 i don't think we're gonna survive the airwave so this will be the maximum uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Here again, I made some uh, stupid mistakes, which I shouldn't have done. Let's close here finally this part so that we can build a maze again. Our hero died again. I need to be a little bit more careful with this guy as well. And you can see those troops are going down very easily. So only those fast units were really uh, punishing us here for the mistakes. And there another mini boss wave is coming in. So this will be also quite intense to deal with uh, since we don't have that many gears here at the moment and uh, our towers are not necessarily the best ones to deal with boss waves so yeah but we're still good in time so we need don't need to use any of the furry scum I mean we're only having two boss waves coming in so this is also quite okay right now and we're uh, just gonna try to group them up and then send them through the loop and then uh, the crystal spire uh, lightning towers should be able to damage both of them at the same time so let's um, stun this guy right here retreat with our hero a little bit and stun them in a second again so that they're grouped why is that hero turning or uh, that mini boss wave turning around jesus yeah anyways this is now gonna be tricky. So we're gonna close this part and this part. And they're not accelerating. I think now now uh, everything went quite well and we can manage to pull this off again. Although our hero died again, so this will be a little bit more costly to try to implement that strategy. But I think we recreated here the loop and can use our hero this guy is walking pretty weirdly or i'm opening up the loop way too fast so let's close those parts and let's sell this crystal spire right here and our hero died again good lord i'm way too focused on on, on uh, redirecting those troops let's just use the furry skull and deal some additional damage let's open up this part now everything is working again out so I don't know what's wrong with me today. Not everything runs the way I want it to. But uh, still, I think we're looking pretty fine as long as we don't take any more damage. So let's send those guys back. And now we can use our hero to help out a little bit more. And place this one here. Use the ability. Both of them are getting stunned. And now we should get some precious gears again, which we desperately need to build here some more loops. And hopefully no fast units okay so these are slow units again this is perfect for us so we're gonna stun them right here let's upgrade this part and use the napalm bomb freeze them right here and now everything should work out fine so this is basically my comeback guys after messing up so badly right in the beginning as you could see so now they are basically all grouped together we can use the hero's ability one more time right now 
and let's place our hero right here in the center again so that we can use the ability once the troops enter again our um, loop and then everything should be fine so wave 22 so far five minutes left i think uh that's looking good enough um to actually uh, reach or come closer to the first place we're not gonna make it on the first place unfortunately but we're gonna make it to wave 27 which is also quite a decent score i guess after messing up so badly that's definitely something that shouldn't happen right here but uh yeah also to me it happens sometimes that i'm screwing up that badly all right hero's ability is again down and you can see it helps a lot to save uh, to get some more damage onto the map and against our opponents so uh, everything is looking fine so far and again as long as there's uh, like um, like slow heroes coming in then we're still gonna be able to deal with them appropriately I misplaced here the hero's ability some something is wrong today definitely Oof. all right but we're not gonna give up let's use the hero's ability napalm bomb is gonna go down and now let's send them all back so that we don't need to invest that much time I don't know how much we're gonna have left so let's use the hero's ability again they're all on one spot and are taking massive damage this is exactly how I like it let's make them turn around one more time and this should be the end for those heavy goblins I don't know what name they actually have let's just call them heavy goblins all right so again slow units are coming in so these waves turning out to be pretty easy and we should be able to take them all out let's use here the uh, snowball hero's ability napalm bomb everything down onto onto them and yeah so far Five we're again back ready. on track at least i hope so i uh, yeah we're we're gonna judge that again at the end of this um round so let's make them turn around one unit is running the other way so sometimes it can be kind of tricky to find timing to make them turn around but uh, yeah it it's uh, it's not gonna harm us too much but it's gonna cost us two additional gears which is kind of unfortunate I don't know I think we're gonna we're gonna deal we are gonna try to deal with the air wave so um, from now onwards we're gonna use all of our um, gears to upgrade here the sky harpoons on both sides and we'll in the end also sell all of the crystal uh, lightning towers so that we can see if it's actually possible to take out this massive wave and if we do so then we actually have a chance to actually uh, to to get on the second spot i think but i'm not sure yet we're gonna see that in one round so we're still having a little bit of time to upgrade here our stuff but uh, to be honest it doesn't look good at the moment i think that's gonna be the end of this round and now we're gonna time here this one better and uh, let's get our hero to this position so that we can use the ability again and all troops are getting again splash damage this is how i like it so let's make the turn around upgrade this one uh place again a air harpoon there and there as well and next wave is coming in hopefully not fast troops okay no it's again the heavy so uh, heavy goblins so Ooh, guys we're gonna get closer to wave 27 and now we definitely need to make sure that we get some more air defenses onto the map i think our our um our crystal uh, our lightning towers are good enough at the moment so we can sell some of them and even though it takes a little bit longer to kill them it actually doesn't matter because um Because actually, uh, then um, we would die anyways. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna create here a loop in a second. Let's place here some more stuff. And sell here those parts. Awesome. And now we're gonna sell here already. Alright, so we're gonna invest now everything heavily into... Into getting some more air harpoons down onto the map. Let's freeze them let's place here another air harpoon there as well and we're gonna s i think we need to send them around one more time but this is giving us some additional time to prepare for the air wave let's use the ability 
sell those two parts so that we can create here a proper air defense. Oh, this is going to be intense, guys. This is going to be intense. Alright, so let's sell this part. And bring as many air harpoons down onto the map as possible. So we're gonna sell this part as well. Hero is stuck. Oh, you cannot forget the troops. This was... Oh, that was again close. I, I was about to say again, this was again stupid from me. But still, it looks like we're gonna be able to perform this still pretty well, so... Let's freeze those guys. And time is running out, so we are gonna use here our uh, furry skull now. Just to accelerate a little bit, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. Alright, let's send them back. Furry skull needs to do work. And we're gonna open up this path and now we gotta be quick, alright. And it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to deal with them like we at least would have needed the double amount of, of air defenses down onto the map. So this is going to be the end of this uh, desperate fight here I had today. Not everything was running perfect, but still you could see that you can um, score with this strategy actually pretty high. Uh, if I wouldn't have taken damage anywhere in the waves, uh, then I think I would have been able to survive as well this wave and would have been able to proceed through the waves and you could see that the crystal powers are actually very good against ground, uh, ground uh, units and if after after this air wave no other air wave would have followed I definitely would have gotten a lot higher but this was kind of a struggle a big struggle I had here today I'm now on the third place hopefully it's gonna stay that way but 20 with uh, the the score of 26 wave is not like uh, the one with which you basically can stay here in League 5 in the top 3. I think it's gonna be 4 or 5, so that should be enough. And I hope you enjoyed this video here, despite of me struggling here a lot, guys. And yeah, um, I'm also planning to get my hands on the other heroes. So um, after I've uploaded a PvE video with T uh, Tain, I'll also try to get my hand at, uh, either on Stoneheart or on Leviathan. And yeah, I want to hear your opinion, which hero you actually would like to see in the next video um, when I'm introducing a new hero and you can tell me that about that in the comment section and then I know what uh, hero you want to see basically and I'm looking forward to your comments about that and yeah, have a great day guys, peace out.